Okay, just having a look at the bodice, we've got this beautiful lace which is used the whole way through. Mum, do you want to tell us a bit about the lace? Yes, it's um, handmade Brussels lace um, and um, it's, uh, the lady told us it was dated to, from the 1840s, which um, I think is correct. When there was beautiful lace, it was often reused um, and um, uh, so it would be often, you know, the lace was taken off things even and passed down or, or held for further generations to use. Um, and and it, it, it tends to survive quite well um, often. And, um, and so, yeah, then uh, I know my grandmother, the, the lace from her wedding dress was used for my brother's christening gown. So that's the same sort of idea. Um, it's most often used in a way where it's not weight bearing, isn't it? Yes, it's sort so of more it decorative. It doesn't, doesn't um, yeah. So there's not strain on it. Um, and in fact, the veil that I wore for my wedding matches the lace on this. <laughs> it's exactly um, the same lace. Yeah, so it was my great grandmother's. So, yeah, some parts of, of fashion were in fact um, reused. Um, there was quite a practicality to some some of this, and um, even though the, the dresses seem to us um, often extravagant, but th there was practicality in it. Now you can see here the parts where the lace actually attaches. They've used different lace, so this is just a, a machine lace. Here now, I, these hook in down, so these hooks go into these eyes down here. I'll show you flatten in a minute. And then the decorative lace is just press studded over the top. So none of the decorative lace is actually taking the weight. Mm, it's all right. been sort of yeah. lined by this, this other lace. Mm. And what's the significance of Brussels lace, Mum? Why is that a thing? Um, there were particular laces that were um, very beautifully made. And, and there were like lace make, make lace um, traditions, so to speak. So, so a Brussels lace, you, you can actually distinguish where a lace was made from by the pattern and by the style of lace. Hmm. Um, and I'm, I don't know a lot about it. Um, I had thought that my veil, for instance, the you know, the family had said, you know, what had come down through the family was that it was Limerick lace, but in fact it matches this, so I suspect that it's Brussels mm. lace. Um, <laughs> and I haven't, you know, ever sort of um, looked into it in any yeah. more detail. But yeah. um, but you can tell there, you know, Guipure lace is another yes. sort of lace, which is has a, a distinct style. Which and, is more if you went to a fabric shop, a nice yes, fabric shop to buy yes. lace today, you're most likely to get guapia. I think so. Yeah. Yes. Um, so, so there are many different forms of lace, um, mm. and uh, it there was a time, and I'm not sure of the date where it it lace tended to become machine made, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and it was therefore much cheaper and much more available for general use. Yeah. yeah. Um, but the earlier lace was was all handmade. Lovely, Mum. Mm.